Now you should have the instructions for report 11495 open as I do on the right. And if you have Word open, then we're going to create a new references page for our website. And we're going to start by step one, opening report 11391. Let's go to the Microsoft Office button. And if you see that on your recent documents list, open it from there. Otherwise, uh, navigate, find it another way. Okay, expanding the size of the page here. And in our instructions file, I'm going to turn off the ribbon so I have a little more room to see my instructions. Now I'm going to save this as a single file web page. So the process there is to click the Office button, Save as Other Formats. Be sure that you select or that it is already selected the single file web page, which is a .mht format. And then we're going to change this to 1.14. 95 and click Save. Now that new name should be at the top of the page that you see. Then we're going to change the title also. So go back to the Microsoft Office button, click Prepare, Properties, and this one is going to be called References. Okay. Go to in step two, fees on the second line below the link bar and type references. Then on step three, we're going to move inside the table. We're going to select all the text there and delete it. Then you should type the information on page 459. I'm going to paste mine in. Now the instructions show that you should hit enter twice before um, starting your paragraph and twice after end, ending it. So now it's time to save the page and then click our web pre page preview. Here we see our new references page previewed in Internet Explorer. Now you may leave this open and move to the instructions document for report 11496, which isn't creating anything new but is um, updating the hyperlinks in all of these documents. So I'll see you soon.